we want trees and they want to have them planted, they want to take care of them, they're willing. When I was a kid, I used to come to the park and jump on the trees a lot, you know, and spend my time just hanging out on the grass, playing football with my friends and stuff. The Iron Bound, you just need these trees and they really, really make a difference. Trees are coming, finally, trees are coming. The people were super excited. Trees are our, our people's best friends, not dogs, uh, especially in this community that lacks a lot of open space, a lot of green space. So any opportunity that we have to plant trees, it's, it's a welcome opportunity. The Ironbound Community Corporation uh, really represents some of the best that the state has to offer in environmental advocacy around issues of environmental justice, around making sure that residents are not overly burdened with pollution uh, and having their health disproportionately impacted by pollution. Um, so that's been a, a critical role for them, uh, fighting on behalf of all of Newark and particularly residents here in Ironbound on environmental health. I've always had a, a really good experience with the Ironbound Community Corporation. I think the members and the corporation itself is a very good entity here in the Ironbound. ICC was founded in 1969 and it was founded by residents. So we've always been working hand in hand with residents and uh, uh, making change happen because that's what residents want to see. Our first program, parents needed to go back to work, but they needed some place for their kids to go, so they founded a preschool. We've adapted since then and created programs that meet the needs of residents. The Ironbound Community Corporation has been a tremendous source of support for the, the, the kinds of initiatives and also has, uh, has taken the lead uh, various times in terms of the development of a strategy that builds a better community. In all of these fights, especially in the toxic waste uh, issues, but in all of the fights really, there has been tremendous involvement of the community as a whole. It wasn't Ironbound Community Corporation on its own or just residents on their own. It was always um, ICC, but working with many, many different organizations. Our mission is to plant trees in the most needed parts of New Jersey. Uh, and so we do have a statewide crew that goes around, but our two main planting areas are in Camden and Newark, which are very needed for the environmental impacts that we provide. Last spring, uh, the City of Newark's Sustainability Office announced an ambitious plan to plant 2,000 trees in our city over the next two years. As soon as ICC heard about it, as soon as we heard about it, we decided we needed to make this happen for our neighborhood and make sure trees are getting planted here goal here is multifaceted goal it is it's never it's open-ended but the first and primary thing is to put some trees in the city of Newark. Uh, Newark is one of the hottest cities in the United States uh, with less tree coverage or canopy coverage as we call it and the US Forest Service did studies that show that the city needs trees to cool it to filter the air to buffer noise um, and just for overall health so my goal initial goal is to plant about 2,000 trees in 2014. It's a community-based tree planting uh, where people initially will apply for trees and we'll partner with them in trying to make sure that all the steps happen so that we can have a beautiful community event where we have volunteers come out, we're digging holes, we're planting trees, everyone's smiling. We, we start off, we reach out to the entire neighborhood because we don't want to just put one tree in, we want to we want to beautify as much and create a canopy. Um, we'll remove concrete if necessary, which adds again to that stormwater runoff. Go out, we'll make sure that we're allowed to plant in these areas. We, we go through the city, we partner with them and the engineering department, and we go out and the day of, we, we dig holes, we plant trees. We're all happy. Luckily, we do have this tree initiative, which is hopefully going to plant lots of trees in the community. And so many people want those trees, so it's very exciting that this new initiative has started. 
I believe by planting more trees, it would help with the air pollution that we have here by um, collecting more of the air pollution through the, the, the leaves itself and having the trees um, give us off more oxygen. So it will be a cleaning process. Trees, they purify the air, um, which is a huge deal in some a city like Newark where many children are suffering from asthma. Further expand on the, on the issues in the urban environment is that the trees can pick up particulates in the air. So the trucks that are going down a road and dust in the atmosphere, the trees actually filter those out and, and takes those particulates out of the air. It reduces asthma attacks and increases health of the residents nearby. One out of three people suffer from asthma in the Ironbound because of the contaminations, and I'm one of those uh, kids, you know, and it's not something that's a statistic or, you know, something that's on a piece of paper. It's a real thing, and people don't really understand it, that it's a huge issue. And I, you know, like I said, it affects me really badly. I mean, I was I found out about it in eight, so I've been living with it almost half my life. It's a really serious issue, and not just saying for me, but for hundreds of people here in the Ironbound, you know, no matter what age. If you walk down a street that has no trees, and then you walk down a street that has a mature tree canopy, you can really feel the difference. You can feel the difference not just uh, in the beauty and the aesthetics of the street, but in the liveliness of the street. There are studies that show that tree canopy means more people are out and about. It actually means there's less uh, likelihood of crime. It means there's more um, foot traffic for the stores and the merchants. And so there's a lot of different benefits that come with having a tree canopy. So another benefit of trees is the ur it combats urban heat island effect. And what that is, is in cities generally, it can be up to 10 degrees hotter in the summertime. And with trees and transpiration, the shade, the water that's associated with trees, it'll cool down the cities. And even if you're just on the side of the street, you get under a tree and you can absolutely feel the difference. If there were more trees in the Ironbound and in my neighborhood, people would want to come out and enjoy the, the environment more because they have, they have shade, they have a place to hang out, set up picnic with their family and kick a soccer ball too. Uh, we had to go to residents' house, knock on their doors, ask them how they feel about having a tree in front of their house, if they were willing to take care of it. If not, the community or the city of Newark will come and place the trees for them, water them. A lot of people are actually excited. I didn't expect so much excitement because I would think people would be like, oh, trees, yeah, we have them here and there. But the positive responses from residents, they, it was pretty good. I think mostly because of the maintenance, like if the trees get really big and they're getting into the wires, then people are concerned about pruning them. And um, sometimes the roots break up the sidewalk and people are concerned about having to maintain the sidewalk. Those are the two stories that I've heard most. But we always try to convince the people that no matter these little inconveniences, the benefits of the trees are tremendous and they absolutely outweigh these inconveniences. Historically, the trees that were planted in our city were not suited for, an, for a city, for an urban environment. Um, and they grew way too big and broke, led to broken sidewalks, which in turn leads to costs that homeowners must pay to repair those sidewalks. The number one issue we've been dealing with is raised sidewalks. That's the first question I get from just about everybody. If I let you plant a tree here, how do you guarantee it won't lift the sidewalk? So that's the first thing. You know, on a raised sidewalk, when I was a kid, we used to take our skateboard and jump over them and bike, ride a bicycle over them. But today, you trip and fall and you sue. So we have to deal with those issues. We have to be careful. Uh, liability is a big issue and people's safety is a big issue. So we have to make sure we plant the right tree in the right place and dig the right size planting pit to get those trees in there. The other, some of the other issues are leaves. I don't want to rake leaves. Uh, leaves get in my gutters. Uh, branches touch my house or site obstruction. I can't see this traffic light. Uh, a lot of those things. So there are plenty of trees we can plant in various ways to answer all those questions. We're going to be very careful to try not to give future city staff and future residents 
the kinds of problems that some of us are experiencing now in terms of the trees that were planted not being quite the right tree and actually being too big for that spot uh, or growing in a way that impacts the sidewalk or the overhead wires. So for the new trees, we're making every effort to really get it right. Um, there are some places where there aren't overhead wires and where you do want to plant a big tree, a tree that's going to give shade to the street. If we just planted small trees, we wouldn't really meet our goal. Uh, we need to put the small trees where they're appropriate under the wires, but where we can put big trees, it's really to our advantage to try to put those big trees. There are quite a few trees that can tolerate urban environments and you have most of them here already. So whoever planted the trees knew which trees would do well. You have uh, London Plain sycamores, um, you have hackberries, you got a, a variety of oaks, maples, zelkovas. There's a list of trees that can tolerate urban environments and our goal is to make sure that we pick the right tree in the right place. It's very important for people and kid, uh, kids, to any and to anyone in general, to, to get involved with programs like the ICC because it brings in this, it introduces them to things that normally they wouldn't know about with environmental issues, uh, an issue that is not very talked about all that much and it reveals to them and it gives an importance that it deserves. The more you can bring everybody together and get your message straight, we all live here, this is a home for all of us. We all have to take care of it. We all have to fight to save our park. We all have to keep the air clean. The more we can unify and get that message, the, the, the more uh, effective the fight will be. Because you really are seeing uh, positive change happen. And, when, and even when there is something that bad happens to the neighborhood, uh, ICC comes together with residents and makes sure that good change can come of it. Once you get the community together, you can, they can talk about what needs to be done, who can help who with what, and it is not such a bad idea to have people come together, have different opinions of what's right, what's wrong, what we can do to make the community better, or have more programs for kids, parents. It's not just about the trees, it's absolutely about the people. And when we get people all together, you've got people who are next door neighbors that didn't even know each other. And they were coming out to these plantings and they're, they were like-minded and they didn't even know it. And they're happy and, and they can then sense, a, they can form a better community because they came out and they are advocates of trees and it's just holistic. It changes the feeling that you have about your neighborhood when you look outside and you're like, wow, my street is beautiful. You know, it really changes your relationship to your neighborhood. And I think the more we do of this, these kind of initiatives, the more people will feel that and the stronger the community will become and the stronger the sense of civic pride that people will have and hopefully connection as well with each other. Like it really has this um, sort of embedded gift of weaving community when when you're taking care of it, when you're working together to take care of something. Thank you.